Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we're gonna actually haul some conveyor belt. Now, I can show the actual loading because of the facility that I'm actually at, but what I can do is I can show you how you need to secure it. So, let's watch this video. Okay, first thing is I've got three rolls between them they're about 37,000 pounds. So that's roughly around 12,000 pounds per roll. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I've got two chains ran through the center on each roll. And then on the front of it there, I've got two sets of blocking there on each one. There's a, a set there on the front side. On the middle, we've got one, two sets in the middle two sets on the back side middle and two on the very back roll. So when you're actually doing this, you're gonna make sure that you have one chain headed forward, one chain headed backwards. You're gonna do the same, si or same thing on the opposite side. Now that I've got the chains and everything taken care of on here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my binders. Okay, so I've got the binders on. So let me go ahead and clamp that. What you're going to do is you want to go to the inside binder first. Bring it down. And then the one on the front side, go ahead and take care of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back coil and do the same thing. Now we're going to go to the very back binder. It needs a jack. I guess that's what we're going to get on this one. Okay, so we're going to go to the center coil now. And it doesn't matter which one you start with, because here it is, we're in the center. Okay. So the next step is, We've actually got to take the chains and wrap it around each one of these binders. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken each and every one of the binders and taken the excess chain, wrapped it around the binder, and then I took one of my black bungees, wrapped it around the chain down to the rub rail, each and every one of these. The reason being is, in the event that one of these would happen to come loose, the arm of the binder will not snap open, making things a lot worse. Okay, let's go around and look at the other side. Okay, I just walked around to the opposite side and just saw that my uh, hook on my chain, it slipped. This is exactly why it's important before you finish up to make sure you do a walk around. So now I've got to loosen this chain up and redo it. Okay, so I just came back and fixed the chain. So I wanted to actually show you what these look like and how I'm actually hooking them to the rub rail. Okay, if you notice, I use two little spools inside my rub rail. If you use one, then your rating drops down to 2,500 pounds on most trailers. 
I'm using two. So now my rating is right at about 5,000 pounds. Okay. Now you may say, well, that's 5,000 pounds per chain, but the actual object weighs more than that. Well, you would be correct. But the way that you figure up the weights on these, let's say this bull weighs 12,000 pounds even. Because it's sitting on the deck of the trailer, now you drop it down to 6,000 pounds because the deck of the trailer absorbs half of the weight. So now you're good to go. And that's actually the way it is. Okay, so let's go check the second one out. And the last one. Okay, so I think we're ready for a uh, real walk around now. Okay, my blocks are nailed in. As you can see, I left a little bit of nail hanging up on there. That way, when I get to the other company, I can easily pull them out with a hammer. So for anyone that saw that, that was on purpose. So let's go ahead and check the chains out. Blocks are in where they need to be. the driver's side. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing and Rigging Up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Now I do apologize because I couldn't actually show the loading of this object, but that actually happens at some companies. They just don't want to show the loading just in case something happens. Okay, and that's understandable. But for those of you that have never hauled a uh, conveyor belting before, I thought I'd do a video while I'm here of actually what it would look like on your trailer, how you would actually secure it. That way, you actually know what you're doing when you show up at a company. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe, like I said, and then uh, check out my other videos. Check out my gaming channel, Starkey Family Gaming and Fun. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.